use it to protect the innocent. Alright, I'm gonna go right for high to the Nemean Lion. Right for high to the Nemean Lion. You have a new message, Shadow S. GLHF. What does that mean? Good luck. What's HF? Someone help. Someone help. Anybody in the chat? GLHF? Good luck. Have fun. Ha! Ha! I get it. I think he's saying LOL because I'm using Kepri, which at this point I don't blame him. If you took my KD with Kepri over the uh, course of these Joust matches I've tried with him, I guarantee you, guarantee I am positive 10. That last game I was 2 and 4. Game before that was 7 and 2. Game before that was 6 and 2. Game before that was like 5 and 1. But when you can't push lane at all. Like, when you cannot push lane, you cannot do much damage to, uh... What's it called? To, uh, objectives. It doesn't matter. Does not matter one, one bit. health steal, isn't he? Pretty much. Seek them out. Your middle tower is under attack. Hope he tower dives me. Your middle tower is under attack. I'm fine. Stand I'm looking up in the air for him to ult. Could be baiting me out of tower. Yep, he is. Called it. Actually, we're going to go right into this for wave clear. Yeah, he's going Devo Gloves and Health Steal. So I can grab the Health Steal buff, or the Health Steal debuff, the curse, and then um, Hide of the Nemean Lion, and what's the other stupid one? Um, Shield of the Underworld. I can win early game, I just need to... Last time I won early game against Odin, 
but one kill and all of a sudden he was caught back up so I can't have that one kill happen. The thing about Kepri, if I need to win playing Kepri, I need to play a perfect game. I don't know if I did an intro because I've you know done Kepri a few times, but either way, I'm supposed to win a, a joust game with Kepri. I'm doing a YouTube series where I play gods and builds that nobody often plays and or ever plays uh like movement speed anubis i don't think anybody's ever played a new movement speed anubis but you know so that's the goal is um win with a pretty much a damage cap rebuild i'll let those few attack my tower He's going to win the camps game, so he's going to get a little bit ahead in gold. But I do not care. Got a little bit of the tower there. I am the immovable. Your middle tower. He's going to beat me in how much tower? It's okay. That's the issue right there. He can push up one wave and beat me, even though I, for the most part, have been out laning him. Like right now, he will... Like, this was a good time to leave because I pushed a wave up, but he will probably get more of my tower because my wave clear is so slow. Unless he grabbed camps as well. Yeah, he might have went and grabbed camps as well. That's why he has like a 150 or 180 gold lead. Let it be known that this for sure would not, um, <clears throat> this build and everything would not work at a, a high ranked level. He's going to get more of my tower. Your middle tower is under attack. I'm okay with you shooting me. This would not work at a high level, guaranteed. <clears throat> it would not. If somebody can play a Kepri at like a high level, like Masters, Platinum, and stuff like that. I would love to see it. Not in a rude way. Like, I would literally love to see it. Height of the Nemean Lion reflects all basic damage. Not all, my god. 20% or something like that. So, paired with... Um, Shield of the Underworld, I can re reflect end game or at any point that I do it 60% of his basic attack damage which is how hunters build so Sacrifice. 
sacrifice has been made. Really? He's gonna alt in, so I'm so literally gonna have to already back out. Not even catch up in tower after one kill. Maybe he doesn't have his ult. This early true damage. We fight only when we lost. All right. He might kill me if he comes back down. Alright, so I've gotten one kill and pushed him out with decent damage twice and I'm still not winning laning. That's how, that's how bad this is. <clears throat> He will get some of my tower here. Your middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Your middle tower this is what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't matter how many kills you get or how much lane you push. A faster. More. Well, I don't know.
He's smart. He's smart. He's smart. He's smart. He's smart. He's using his ult, isn't he? He is grabbing protection, so my uh, my last attack speed item here should help. He's back in lane. Alright. Literally, I'm not even going to be able to push farther up. It's annoying. We fight only when we must. Am I going to want to lower his attack speed or his healing? Attack speed, in turn, would lower, lower healing because he's healing per basic attack. So that makes sense. I think that death was worth it. I, <laughs> I hope that death was worth it. Worth it. Seven, six. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to clear by the time I get out. And I have attack speed. He's used his alt, so he's good for a bit. Chase me, can chase me.
No, I don't want that. Where are you? Please. My god, I can't look. Get off of them. <clears throat> Seek them out. Got a siege up with. Cleared the wave up there? What? I don't think he can clear that yet. Maybe he can. Nah, he can't. Let's go! I won with Capri! Let's go! Oh, the challenge is complete! I'm so excited about something so stupid, but I don't care. It was so hard. Oh my god. He did it! Oh my god. That was a rough challenge. Whoever suggested that, I hate you. I don't know. I don't remember who it was. There's like eight people. Do Capri! K! Oh my god. I did it. I did it. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm not going to play Smite ever ag again. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a break. Um, I'm, uh, I got to go upload uh, Tanky Build Nemesis that I have ready for uh, YouTube. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. As always, it's Shadow S16. Like, comment, um, I don't know. Com give me more suggestions. Don't do them as bad as that. Don't like, yeah, Kepri full damage build. Like, why? Um, but then again, those things are fun. Um, as always, it's Shadow S16. Okay, bye.